Jake's a mash, it's me. Granted, the movie and TV guy. I like you. I like movies, it's nice. Uh, <laughs> hi. Um, it's me, Granted, the movie and TV guy, like I said, and we're talking about... Can I call this a movie? More like a series of specials. Um, it's called... The collectively called Borat Supplemental Reportings. Actually, the title is longer than that, but that's like the abbreviated version. This is a companion of sorts, or three companions, really, um, to one of my favorite films from last year, which also happened to be a sequel, which was Borat's subsequent movie film, which was a sequel to uh, the first Borat. And so basically, this movie, or this miniseries, I guess you can call it, it's called a miniseries in the review, um, it's uh, three specials that are kind of made up of material that didn't make it into the movie. It's kind of like, you know when they do the Jackass movies and they do like Jackass 3.5, so it's that for Borat 2. And basically it's um, split into three distinctive halves. Um, the first half, um, I forget the name of it, but it's like Borat um, video the government will not allow to use on a VHS or something. And it was like a 25 minute collection of basically deleted scenes from skits that exist and skits that failed as well as the full-length version of that um Kazakhstani fake uh, Melania Disney cartoon Melania and Donald Trump Disney cartoon from the movie and then um the second half is something called it's like Borat American Lockdown and it's a 40 minute just a little under 40 minute um it's basically the full version of the period where he's waiting out the coronavirus with the two cons conservative conspiracy theorists but it's the full version, and it's styled like an episode of, like, I don't know, like, a investigative discovery show. A reality show. Um, very good. And then that's followed in the same kind of thing by the third part, which is called Debunking Borat, where basically it's six shorts, roughly about seven minutes each, that kind of um, is more documentary-like, where it, it, it's not really following the standard... Um, it's not played for laughs. Uh, the third part is actually, honestly, kind of educational. Uh, I think, honestly, separate from the parts of really worth watching. Um, so let's just break it down. The first part, I thought, was very funny. It was very Borat. It had the... And it was all kind of built around interstitials where Borat, on what looks like an old VHS tape, is telling us, you know, this is the stuff we couldn't make it, and makes another little jab at Rudy, and they're very, very, very funny. Um, again, they do the full Melania thing, which even goes a little further into... How much you want to bet that scene was cut from the movie to avoid getting an NC-17? Probably. <laughs> Wait till you see it. Um, and then the second one also is quite good. It goes on a little long, but I did like the structure of it being a reality show. I also really liked, um, the post-credit of it, which is seen in all the trailers, this is not a spoiler, of... Probably the first time in all these Ali G spun movies where he broke character, where it's Sasha Baron Cohen, um, which was shocking. In fact, they, they along with showing the full version that they show the full version of one of the more tense, like just scenes in the movie, which was the um, the uh, rally scene from the second movie with the the uber conservative like alt right. Let's call it as alt right, not uber conservative. There are plenty of good conservatives. Alt right. It's all right. It's it's people who want to cause hate in the world. Um, but basically, he's found out, and they've talked about this in some of the uh, other like behind the scenes interviews. When he's doing like his was like American Dave or something, and he he goes into the thing, and they're actually like chasing down his van and like knocking on the door and and, and threatening his life, and I'm like, jeez, <laughs> like I understand we broke character there. The third part, I think, is great. It's, um, what he does is, basically, de debunking Borat. Sasha Baron Cohen's the narrator of this as Sasha Baron Cohen, not as Borat. And basically what it is, is there are these six shorts, each with a different topic, that are more straightforward documentary, where the two conspiracy theorists in the film are sat down by the crew, and basically they talk to an expert on the subject that they had the conspiratorial things for. And what's interesting about it is that, though they're still held strong in their misguided beliefs they are they are willing to listen and it's kind of interesting seeing it after the movie and seeing how they're portrayed in the film and then seeing how they're portrayed in this and really 
I'd like to think that maybe the movie itself and seeing how they were portrayed might have humbled, been humbling a bit, which I think is cool. Because um, they do genuinely act like they want to listen to the people. It's interesting, and I did like that. And I also thought it really was educational in how it stuck to the facts about the things they bring up, such as all the stuff with um, Hillary Clinton and all the stuff about the... But it, where it debunks the conspiracy, stuff about election fraud and the COVID microchip Bill Gates thing, and they take it... And they actually give it cold, hard facts and say, like, this is a conspiracy theory, and here's why. And they tell them where the theory started, and how it's been passed around, and why it's a, it's, it's how they debunked it. Very interesting, um, little seven-minute seven thing. So overall, collectively, it's hard to give a score to this. I watched the whole thing. I will say, Borat Supplemental Recordings, you know what, I'm just going to do this. I'll give it the same score as the movie, which is five stars. Because it's just kind of more of the movie, which is, you know, it's, it's basically like, it's kind of the bonus features, really, of the movie. But that's fine. Um, I really liked that, and I liked seeing the stuff that was on the cutting room floor. It was a lot of fun. Um, it, you can't, it doesn't really work at all unless you've seen subsequent movie film. But if you have, this is some extra goodies for you, and it's about roughly feature length. But it's like, I think altogether it's like maybe 80-some minutes when you put the three parts together. So very, very good. Um, five professors. Okay, so we will be back to, um, oh gosh, where are we? Oh, I was gonna say, the earlier announcements we were talking about earlier. So Corella's on the on the docket, a Quiet Place Part Two is on the docket. Um, Regrets, No Activity, uh, Lucifer, Part Five, Part, or Season Five, Part Two, Kaminsky went in Season Three, and then we're also going to talk about, um, Oh, Bo Burnham Inside, the new special, and we're also going to be talking about um, the Friends reunion, and um, I also forgot this is ending. Season 1, finally, we're going to talk about, because the finale is on Friday this weekend, uh, the, the Season 1 review of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers. That'll be next time, uh, and until next time, I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. See it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. All right, Love you all. Appreciate you all. Um, I love you all. Class dismissed. I love you 2,000. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching my review. I hope you like. Jag Smash. Um, Jiji Kui. <laughs> Thank you all. Take care. See you. Have a good night.